Have you ever considered the intricate process behind creating a bullet? From raw brass coils to the final, precisely assembled projectile. The manufacturing of ammunition is a meticulous operation where precision and safety are paramount. In this video, we explore the fascinating world of bullet production, revealing how massive coils of brass are transformed into powerful projectiles, traveling at speeds over 1,000 kilometers per H. The process begins with raw brass coils, composed of an alloy of copper and zinc. This alloy is chosen for its ideal combination of strength and flexibility, making it perfect for crafting ammunition cases. Brass has been the material of choice since the 19th century due to its excellent corrosion resistance, which enhances the accuracy and reliability of bullets. These coils, often several meters long and weighing hundreds of kilograms, provide the foundational material for the manufacturing process. Once the brass coils arrive, they are fed into unwinding machines. These machines carefully unwind the material and guide it to the next production stage while maintaining constant tension. This is crucial to avoid any deformations or uneven stretching that could compromise the quality of the final product. The unwound brass strips are then fed into cutting presses, where they are precisely punched into circular discs known as blanks. These blanks must be cut with micrometer level precision to ensure that the resulting cases meet exact specifications. Any leftover brass from the cutting process is collected, recycled, and reintroduced into the production cycle to minimize waste and maximize efficiency. After cutting, the brass blanks undergo a thorough chemical wash to remove any oils, dust, or residual contaminants from the cutting process. Once cleaned, the discs are dried to remove moisture and prepare them for the next manufacturing stage. The next crucial step is drawing and forming, where the brass discs are transformed into bullet cases. This process involves feeding the discs into a drawing press, which stretches them into cylindrical shapes. Typically, this drawing occurs in three stages to prevent the brass from breaking or becoming too thin. Each stage gradually stretches and lengthens the cylinder to achieve the desired dimensions, while ensuring the case's mouth and neck, where the projectile will be seated, are precisely shaped for a perfect fit and proper pressure. Following the drawing process, the cases undergo tempering to relieve internal stresses and enhance durability. This involves heating the brass cases to a precise temperature of about 650 degrees Celsius and then cooling them slowly. This controlled cooling process is essential to improve the brass's ductility and prevent brittleness that could lead to cracks or deformation during use. Without this step, the brass could become prone to breakage, compromising the ammunition's performance and safety. Once tempered, the cases are prepared to accommodate the bullet through a series of precise procedures. The interior diameter of each case is carefully checked to ensure uniformity and smoothness, which is crucial for a proper fit for the projectile. A small pocket is then drilled at the base of the case to house the primer, which is vital for igniting the gunpowder. This primer pocket must be exact in both depth and diameter to ensure consistent ignition. Additionally, the rim of the shell is formed to allow for easy extraction after use. This shaping is crucial so that the weapons extractor can properly engage and expel the spent shell. Each shell undergoes a rigorous inspection using advanced cameras and lasers to check for precision in diameter, length, wall thickness, and other critical dimensions. Shells that do not meet exact specifications are automatically rejected ensuring that only high-quality products move forward in the process. The machinery used in this process is highly sophisticated, capable of achieving tolerances as fine as one hundredth of a millimeter, ensuring exceptional accuracy and quality. Next comes the production of the projectile itself, a critical component of ammunition. Projectiles are typically made from lead due to its density and moldability. For higher-performance ammunition, Materials like copper alloys or steel are used, and many projectiles are coated with a copper jacket or similar alloy to enhance wear resistance and reduce barrel fouling. Once the shell is loaded with gunpowder and the primer is in place, the bullet assembly begins. This involves inserting the projectile into the shell and securing it firmly. Precision is essential here to ensure a perfect fit. 
Crimping is then performed, where the edge of the shell is bent or pressed around the projectile, using specialized tools to create a tight seal. This ensures that the projectile remains securely in place during storage and handling. After assembly, each bullet undergoes a thorough visual inspection to check for integrity and identify any visible defects. Bullets that do not meet quality standards are removed from the process. The assembled bullets then face rigorous quality control to confirm they meet safety, performance, and reliability criteria. This includes precise checks of weight, dimensions, and surface defects, as well as speed and pressure tests to ensure correct velocity and pressure. The crimping is also verified to ensure a secure fit. Once the bullets pass their inspection, they are carefully packed into protective boxes designed to safeguard them during storage and transport. Each package is labeled accordingly, and the bullets are stored in secure warehouses. When ready for distribution, bullets are sent to distributors, retailers, or directly to end users via courier services. Military ammunition follows specialized channels to ensure secure and regulated delivery to the armed forces. If you're interested in learning how mirrors are made from sand, check out the video on your screen. Please like and share this video if you found it informative, and subscribe to our channel with notifications activated to continue learning. Thanks for watching.